So this is Tokolosh, the first rapid in the gorge, and it's a rapid that's actually changed a little bit in recent years, and it's actually become slightly easier. Traditionally, the line used to be to approach it left of center, which is where the lion's share of the river went. It did mean you had to do a bit of a right-hander, and you had to hit a bit of a curling way before you got into the rapid proper. And that's what sometimes caused a problem, especially for the less experienced paddlers. However, in recent years, more and more of the river is going down the right, and even at medium to low conditions, this is just below level two at Scotsland's Bridge, there's now a super clean line, which you can start right of all the rocks, pick a right-hand line, and as you come into the rapid, you gradually hit the waves and move left. Your best exit is definitely on the left. So Tokolosh, if anything, has become easier with time. Right in our mission, history goes back to 1886. The mission as it's built here, and as you can see in this picture, was modeled on the Reichenau mission, which is actually in Germany, and it was founded by a bunch of Trappist monks. The story goes that the chief in this area at the time, who was the chief Sakayedwa, was looking for somebody to put together a school in a mission school. He went to Marion Hill, just outside Durban, and said, boys, we need you to put together a school somewhere in this region. And when they were working their way up into the Drakensberg to look for a suitable place, they were working on the Polela River. They were looking for a spot that would be suitable, and they found this natural waterfall, and they decided this would be the spot where they could not only put together a mission school, but somewhere where there was a waterfall they could use the water, the water turbines powered, the sawmills here, the big grinding wheels, and ultimately they actually produced their own electricity.